Okay, so you want to know how to send a file from a client to a server. And this is the actual uh, piece of code that would receive that file. So we're going to go ahead and tell the interpreter that we want to receive a file and write it as binary. We're going to go ahead and print to the terminal the file opened. We're going to set up a while loop. We're going to uh, tell the user that we're receiving the data. We're going to set the data equals s.receive. S being the variable we set for our socket, uh, you know, s equals socket.socket, .socket, blah, blah, blah. So then from there, we're, uh, this one will just actually print the data. And then it's going to say if there isn't any data, call this function. And that function will probably just say something like, you know, file's not there, etc. And then, of course, we have our command to write the file to our hard drive f dot write data data being the variable which is literally the data which is why we call it data which is why we named the variable data and then of course we're going to close that file and then if you notice here on the left I have the squiggly line which indicates that Python requires uh, code blocks and tensions and pretty much forces you to make your code neat and orderly and if, it, if you don't have your uh, you know if you don't have the spacing and all that correct it's not going to run it'll straight up tell you They'll straight up say, you know, where the interpreter was expecting an indented block, and etc. So, I hope you found these videos helpful. You know, feel free to pause the video, write all this down, and uh, browse the playlist because I'm I'm putting lots and lots and lots of different things you can do with Python and Unix and different programming languages up here. I'm going to do some batch tutorials eventually. So, you know, if you enjoy these and these were helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I appreciate it.